Something popped up. A channel. My channel popped up? Not your channel. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's start the shit up, bro. Yo, Maximilian News. Shout out to that nigga, though, man. We haven't even gotten it. We haven't really talked, but I mean, yo, I, I figure I show some love, man. Like, shit, man. Hopefully everything's been going good with you, dogs. Fuck this YouTube shit, man. Sometimes, bro, there's people that you never interact with for like years on end, and then you finally, like, I don't know, it's just it's a good to bridge the gap sometimes. I don't know. Okay, let's go. So, this is a different. Oh, she's got a motherfucking piece on her. Hold on a second. This chick is motherfucking burning right now. Okay, hold on. Let's try again. Here we go. She has a lot more ammo, though. Okay, okay. Okay. It's getting a little late night though, so we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna play the game a little bit more and then we're gonna talk about some wild shit. Alright? Don't worry. I know some of you dudes listen, I'm gonna be real, man. Uh, EW Nut that's one of my boys, yeah. Nutworth. Oh okay, yeah, he he because he, he, he's used to making them nuts work. This freaking This motherfucker. Bro, how are you gonna hit a lady in the back of the head? Anything other than donkey punch? <laughs> nah, that's fucked up. Donkey punch. Yo, do you guys know what a donkey punch is? Do you know what a donkey punch is, bro? When I learned, it fucking fucked me up because I was like, I was like maybe like 17 years old. Yo, a donkey punch is when you're having sex with a woman, right? From the back, like you're hitting it from the back. Apparently, there's this move where the dude punches the fuck out of the back of her head makes her black out and apparently it causes the no, vaginal muscles to tighten around his penis and it like feels really good that's like some what kind of caveman abusive ass motherfucking lug jaw this dragon shit is that who does that it's the behind the scenes right now say hello to the vlog i know we just talked about donkey what i don't know can you believe that shit that's a thing. We just do that. Y'all didn't know that? Yo, do y'all know what a dirty Sanchez is? Apparently, it's when someone engages in anal sex and some of it winds up on your lip. And like, like they call that a dirty Sanchez. That's not, like, I don't know why I'm talking about dark sexual shit with y'all, but I mean, it just was shocked, st shocking stuff that I learned, man. Like, it kind of fucked me up when I was a kid. You ever had those moments when you're a little kid and you discover something sexual and you're, you feel crazy? Yo, I'll never forget the first porno mag that I've ever read or gotten. I was in the seventh grade, right? My friend Christian. Christian? I'm not even going to say his last name. I remember his last name. He was one of my best friends, right? But I remember back in those days, it was like I was I, I, I was a good boy. You know, I've always been a really, really good boy in school and all that, you know? Hey, listen, man, I focused on my studies. But I remember one day he bought this damn magazine to class, right? And he was showing the pages to me. And as I was, a, I was, I was only in the seventh grade, and I was like, what is this? Like, what's that stuff coming out of him? And he was like, dude, you don't know? And I was like, no, what? What is it? He said... Like, that's cum, and I'm just like, cum? And he and he's like, yeah, we, all men have that. In, you have it in you too. I'm like, <gasps> I was shocked. I was horrified. I was mortified. I was like, why is that a thing? That's so disgusting. Like, why? Is I'm not. Listen, man. This might be a little TMI for y'all, but as a young lad growing up, I discovered sex in the craziest way possible, man. And I even in, in class at one point, I thought that sex. Sex and intercourse were two separate things. I thought you could have sex without intercourse. It was, it was the, it's a long story. I don't want to go too deep in the detail. We're supposed to be playing seat tight, but I mean, damn. I, I had some naive ass moments when I was a little kid, man. I, I wish I could fucking go back and change that, man. I must have looked like a goddamn dumbass. Fuck my life. Uh, yo, dude, I didn't believe it. At that time, I didn't know about ejaculation. I didn't know about orgasm and sperm and semen and all that. So it was just like... I read this, imagine reading a book with no context, and you see a dude shooting white lines on a woman's face. <laughs> it was an eye opener, and I'll never forget that shit, man. Shout out to you, Christian, that was a damn good man. <laughs> he let me take that shit home. I wasn't even masturbating, that's how naive I was to it. I just had the magazine, I was just like, wow, this is crazy. How are they doing this? And I think like maybe two months after I masturbated for the first time. It was the most ridiculous shit, bro. Ugh. 
I don't know why I'm sharing this with y'all. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's because I ain't got nothing better to do. Oh, wait, we do. Let's play some sleep time. All right, let's fucking go. Y'all ready to continue, man? Resume. Let's continue blasting motherfuckers. Little boy got his ass killed, so uh, let's see what we can do here. Uh, we're going to build a fort. We're going to put this bitch right up here. Okay. And I'm going to probably have to refill my ammo. Uh, bye. Oh, is that it? Is that, am I good? Boom. Let's do it. Okay, listen, man. Y'all got to tell me. We got to even the ground here, bro. I told y'all way too much information for me to not know something fucked up about y'all. I want someone prestigious from the community. Someone who has a name, some clout, to tell me a real-life story of them and their sexual experiences. Although... The more I think about it, the more it just does not seem like something that people would like hide online. You know, like of course y'all would tell me your sexual experience. I ain't got a face to the name. I don't know what the fuck half of y'all niggas look like. The only nigga. Wait a minute, hold on. We're gonna have to have a motherfucking Etika World Network um, beauty contest, a beauty pageant for every single person in the Etika World Network. Who's the most beautiful, the most handsome, the most good-looking person who's part of the fucking fandom, the viewership? Okay. Now, of course, I win everything by default, but I mean, that's not going to be fair. So we're going to have to motherfucking find niggas that look good. You know, listen, pause, no homo. I don't mean anything by it, all right? I'm not trying to fuck you or uh, nothing like that, but I'm just saying. Y'all ever, ever seen what motherfucking Aurora looks like, bro? Aurora is a handsome motherfucker. He look like Nav. The nigga look like Nav. You know, uh, nothing for my niggas because I'm Nav. Like, bro, I'm just saying, man. But, I mean, I would beat him, of course. But, I mean, hey, the motherfucker look, <laughs> the motherfucker look good, okay? I'm just being real. Listen, if, if like, I'm not uncomfortable with my sexuality as to where I cannot compliment another man's appearance, okay? There's nothing gay about that. Even if it was gay, who cares? So what's gay? So what? Nigga, everybody's gay nowadays, man. Hey, everything can be gay. Who cares? Stop being judgmental. Y'all motherfuckers are jumping to conclusions and shit. Anyways, let me continue the motherfucking stunt out here. Y'all dudes are making me pissed off right now, man. Oh, we, got, we gotta spend everything, right? Can I get another fucking bed? We're gonna get a turret. Yeah, why not? Close that shit. Where's the turret at? Oh, I gotta build it. Whoops. Nigga, I'm about to run out of ammo or what? Oh, no, I'm good. Blasting niggas. Fuck that. Let's see here. Um, yo, we got Anna Cross in here. What's going on? Welcome back to the stream, Anna Cross. Yo, my bad about earlier. I, I know I kind of missed your donation. I, I feel bad about that shit. My bad. Dang, isn't that around the time where you tried to fuck a grapefruit? No, it wasn't a grapefruit, it was peanut butter. <laughs> hey, listen, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Sexual and experience, man, you do the darndest things. I know some girls, listen, I'll tell you something. I know, I know some girls in real life, real life stories that told me, oh yeah, when I was first discovering my sexuality, I just used to like take random shit and just shove it straight up the vajo, you know? <laughs> like, fuck it, let's just see what this does. I, like, this one girl, you know, I, I used to shove a hairbrush up there. I used to shove a motherfucking cucumber, a frozen banana. I used to be doing the whole thing. I'm like, what the fuck? How do you even, like... Bro, this shit is crazy out here, man. Motherfuckers don't care. Okay, hold on a second. Are we, what the fuck's going on right now? I'm not seeing my damn stream number thing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this shit. It's not working. I'm gonna get rid of this. Fuck it. I don't know why it's not working, but it, it's gonna be a blue box from now on. Uh, we have Bobo coming back in saying, since you are talking about sex, how old were you when you first found out where babies come from? It was, it was around the same time. Like, I mean, it was like I was 14 years old. A lot of that stuff was sort of like kept away because my mom she was a good mom you know she she was able to keep me away from all that perverted shit but of course going to a damn school where other young men are yeah it was gonna come out eventually bro and i remember it was around the same time when i started masturbating when i started fucking um watching porno reading pornos motherfucking looking up shit and then it all came together it was like a goddamn revelation and next thing you know it was like boom that's where babies come from it was a fucking listen it happened eventually, bro. I think it happened relatively late for me. Maybe some of y'all niggas, you had to experience that shit earlier, unfortunately. Hey, look, I know if I ever have a child, if I ever have a son, an offspring, a little nigga, I am going to ensure that he knows about everything by like 16. 16's a good age, you know? 
Although I feel like they would discover it themselves. Boy, you learned at 14. Yeah, okay, I'm a little bit of a late boomer. You know? That, that, that's just how it is, man. I've accepted the shit. You niggas need to do so too. I know that's late. I know that's late. I'm reading the card. Yeah, I know. But I mean, you were age 10? How do you find out about it at age 10? I mean, what? How, look, Alex, be real. Okay, I'll be real with you, boss. Like, what, 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 what? How old were you when you first discovered the birds and the bees and um, all that other stuff? Like, when did you discover that that's how it really went down? 12, 13. 12, 13. Okay. Yeah, not, not like 14, like 12, you think? Like, a young, you were like. Yeah, I was like. How old, how old are you in like sixth grade? I was, I was around that. Sixth grade? I was in like the seventh, eighth grade. 